What's up y'all, welcome back to Fish the Moment. Today I'm covering a really interesting topic. It's when to start fishing offshore in the spring. The bass spawn in the spring and they're all up shallow on the bank. But when do you actually move offshore, get out here in the middle of the lake and start catching those fish that are schooled up on offshore ledges and humps and places like that. So today we're gonna actually answer that question and tell you exactly what you need to know to make that decision of whether to fish shallow or whether to fish deep. So let's get into it. So first, let's talk about the best seasons and times of year to fish offshore. So in general, I found you can find fish living offshore in every season of the year. And the only time that it's a little bit difficult to find fish offshore is during the spawn because the majority of the fish in the lake are gonna be moving up to the banks to lay their eggs. What this means is that you can fish offshore in almost every season and find fish. But as many of you know, bass don't always set up on the same pieces of offshore structure in every season, and they'll set up on different pieces of structure depending on what time of year it is. And on my channel, I make a lot of videos about offshore fishing, and you can watch some of my older videos to understand which types of offshore structures are best in each time of the year. But there is one time of year where it's kind of difficult to find fish offshore or at least locate them initially. And that's when the bass are transitioning from the spawn to the post spawn. So as many of you know, the spawn is when the bass move up shallow to the banks to lay their eggs and reproduce. And almost all of the bass in the lake will move up to the bank to spawn in shallower water. And so for a lot of guys, the obvious question is, well, when should I stop fishing shallow for those spawning bass and start fishing offshore when the bass get off the beds and get into their post-spawn patterns? Well, fortunately for you guys, this is one of the questions I had when I was first learning to fish offshore, and I spent a ton of time researching it and trying to figure it out on the water, and I feel like I've pretty much figured it out. So first, let me start out by giving you a general rule of thumb. When you're having trouble deciding whether you should fish shallow or fish offshore during that spawn to post-spawn transition, try to figure out when the first wave of bass spawned, because most of the time bass will move offshore two to three weeks after they spawn. That means that if a wave of bass spawns offshore on your home lake at the end of March, there's normally going to be a group of bass that's offshore during the mid to late part of April. But on some lakes, especially up north, the bass may not spawn until the end of May or early June. And so you may not find bass offshore until mid-June to the end of June. And while you will find bass offshore two to three weeks after that first wave of bass spawn, you probably won't find very many out there because normally the bass will spawn in two to five waves. And so the majority of the fish will still be shallow two to three weeks after that first wave spawns. And so you may not have a really strong offshore bite till maybe a month or even a month and a half after that first wave of bass spawn. And if we take the example of when the first wave of bass spawned in March, normally that offshore bite won't be really good until mid-May to early June. And one common misconception that I hear a lot is that the bass will move offshore once the water hits a certain water temperature. And so guys will say, oh, don't worry about fishing offshore until the water temperatures hit 70 degrees. But that could not be further from the truth. And I actually had an on the water fishing lesson on Lake Uchi in Oklahoma just a couple weeks ago. And we were catching fish offshore on offshore drops and offshore ledges when the water temperature was still 62 to 63 degrees. And I don't have any footage from this day, but I do have a few pictures from the trip. And you can see that these fish are really healthy and they're actually post-spawn. And they'd been post-spawn for a while because a lot of the marks and bloody tails had been healed up by the time we caught these fish. And so my guess is that these fish probably spawned during the first half of April and then they moved off to the first ledge away from these spawning pockets two to three weeks after they spawned, which would coincide perfectly with the first week of May when we caught these fish. And another good example of this is that I've been catching a lot of good fish on Table Rock Lake in Missouri offshore in 20 to 30 feet of water when the water temperatures were still 62 to 63 degrees. And some of these fish were pre-spawn bass, but a lot of them were post-spawn smallmouth. And if you have smallmouth in your reservoir, especially in the south, what you'll find is that a lot of times these smallmouth will spawn 
earlier than the largemouth, and they'll spawn in 58 to 59 degree water temperatures. So a lot of times you can find smallmouth bass that are post-spawn and are living offshore in April when a lot of the largemouth still haven't even spawned yet or are just starting to spawn. And this was definitely the case during the first FLW Costa Series event on Table Rock Lake that was fished the second weekend of May. While the majority of the field was up shallow flipping bushes for spawning largemouth, the second place finisher Todd Castledine was fishing 100 to 200 yards out in the middle of the lake, fishing for post-spawn smallmouth and catching some really big ones. And so this just goes to show that even during the spawn, you can catch fish offshore. And if you can catch fish during the spawn offshore, you can catch them pretty much any other time of the year offshore as well. And there's always going to be a concentration of fish that's off the bank and away from the shoreline that you can target offshore. So guys, that's pretty much it. You can fish offshore really any time of the year. And if you do find yourself trying to fish offshore during that spawn to post-spawn transition, just remember my rule of thumb to fish two to three weeks after that first wave of bass spawns and you're going to be on offshore fish all year long. So now that you know when to start fishing offshore during that spawn to post spawn transition, you're probably wondering where you should start looking on your home lake. And so I'm making a video about where I start fishing during the post spawn offshore on a lot of different types of fisheries so that hopefully you can get a good starting point for offshore fishing on your home lake. And that video will be coming really soon, so keep checking in the channel and you'll see it pretty soon. Hey guys, thanks for checking out the video. Hope you enjoyed, and if you want more content from Fish the Moment, check out my website, fishthemoment.com. On my website, I offer virtual fishing lessons you can do from your home using Google Hangout, on the water fishing lessons where you can go out in your boat and I can show you how to find fish with your electronics and on the water, and also lake breakdowns of some of those popular lakes around the country where I'll give spot recommendations, conditions, and lure recommendations as well. And if you really enjoyed the video and you want to support the channel in a more personal way, donate on my Patreon page. On Patreon, you can give a small monthly donation that helps me continue to make quality content for you guys into the future. And last but not least, check out my social media pages. I'm on Facebook and Instagram, and I post a lot of great pictures, videos, and articles about bass fishing. So thanks again for checking out this video, and I'll see you in the next one.